Yo, yeah, what's good? I'm your guide Q, and I have no idea what I'm doing with my life, so let's find out. Guys of Reddit, what do women do that give you the ick? This person says, not a guy, but a lesbian, and yeah, just for the rest of the video, these really are not, like, gender specific. These can kind of go anyway, all of these, but, and it's acting dumb for the sake of being cute. It's not cute, it's annoying, shut up. Like, I, yeah, I just do not get it. If you're actually dumb and you, like, don't get what's going on in a situation, that's perfectly fine, but if you're, like, pretending to not understand what's going on constantly, like, I don't know where that has worked for you in the past, but please do not bring it anywhere around me. It is just incredibly frustrating. I saw a cute girl on a treadmill at the gym sneeze four times and not attempt to cover her mouth once. Absolutely disgusted me. Someone responds, what's worse is when people cough into their hands and then proceed to touch everything. Somebody chimes in with elbow sneezing for the win. Now, Reddit cringe aside, elbow sneezing is actually the goaded method. And yeah, it's just the lack of consideration, the lack of like knowledge of what the protocol is in situations like that. That's just disgusting. I have an ick that I want to throw in real quick. One time, I had a huge crush on this girl that I worked with, and she gave me a ride home from work, and the entire time she was driving me home, she was texting and driving, and it was just, it was over at that moment. I was just like, what? And like, one, you're this dumb that you do this, and two, you don't care about me enough, clearly, to, like, not be. And she wasn't, like, changing a song or doing anything like that. She was literally just sending full-ass text messages while she was driving a vehicle. It was so fucking dumb. Ooh, this is a good one casual hate just chill out why are you so upset about everything somebody responds i agree 100 percent it's like they cannot just let things be they have to be condescending or act holier than thou for no reason over things that genuinely do not matter Ugh, my co-worker just called out are you even working today no i'm off but like why is she calling out like what how does it affect you in any way i'm guessing in that specific situation i feel like that was a weird example because like either they just straight up dislike that person in general or maybe Maybe that's a person that calls out all the time and it's just a problem and she is concerned for her co-workers you know it's really not hating it's just her caring about the people that she works i don't fucking know i'm a little bit of a casual hater myself i definitely have some uh some hate in my soul but i, I understand that it's toxic and I, I try to uh you know not do it all the time all right this person says baby voice which true and then somebody responds with boop de boop be do bop sex i do not know what the fuck that means this is this a reddit moment i don't know if this is a reference or something like that it just i'm fucking confused <laughs> what why does this have 549 fail votes most of them got cooties except my mom <laughs> like this guy wants to date his mom i guess fuck letting their phone be a distraction from being present or be a distraction from driving a motor vehicle <laughs> call back uh no but this is totally true like especially if it's like a first time hangout or like it's just a situation where you only have so much time together like i get it if we live together or something like that yeah, feel free to be on your phone or like chilling or if we're spending a lot of time together But if we're on like a date or like doing something for a short period of time It's like hey, let's like let's be here. Let's not be like doing other things You can be on your phone when you get home. Ooh, this is interesting have TikTok personality I'm gonna say I mean having TikTok personalities and this is kind of relevant nowadays like people that just model their Personality after a certain creator or like talk the way that TikTokers or YouTubers talk like you can hear it very quick as someone who watches a lot of YouTube and TikTok, you can hear it very quickly. And if you hear them say certain certain things or just have certain sentiments that just feel very copy and pasted, it's yeah, huge ick. All right, we got a triple post on testing, I guess. I've, I've never heard of this happening to anybody in my personal life, but I've heard about it a lot online. This person says, the fucking testing. I appreciate that you have been in a previous relationship where someone lied and or cheated on you, but don't spend your entire single life trying to catch me in some lie so you can have your self fulfilling prophecy that all men are liars. Somebody else says, I had an ex do this in a big way. She decided to move her flight a day earlier to come into town. She knew I had a bachelor party to go to for one of my really close friends whose wedding she flew out for. I found out later that it was a test and I failed because I still went out. I never asked her to come out early. She just knew that knowing full well the plan. Not sorry that I failed that test. Good riddance. Another Redditor says, oof, my last ex did something similar. She's a nurse. Friday night, she's working to 9 p.m. I hadn't gamed in a while or spoken to my brother and a friend, so we set up a gaming night that night, and she was aware of it. She gets home around 9.30 p.m., says she's too tired to cook. She cooks a lot, though, so I'm not saying she's lazy, and didn't want to grab some food, so she asked me if I could bring her some. I politely declined, stating that I had a few drinks 
and that I already had plans with my friends. She was upset at it. We broke up a few days later, and this is one of the two reasons she gave me. I failed her test to show I care. Oh my god, that happened, and she broke up with you? Bro, you should be breaking up with her. Some of these people, like, yo, these are just, I mean, these are horrendous. These are not icks. Like, I don't know what the fuck icks means. I guess we're just substituting ick for red flag. Like, ick is something that's, like, maybe a little bit illogical that, like, grosses you out about a girl and makes you uninterested in her. This is, like, people being fucking horrible. Like, this is not, I don't, I don't understand. Right, this Redditor says, loudly empathizing with every cause and group on the planet, but treating people in their personal lives like trash. Why are so many people like this nowadays? I hate it. This person says, uh, social media has built a venue where you can be awarded for performative support without ever actually putting any work. I, I think that's totally the thing. Like, because there are plenty of people out there that are like empathize with big causes and groups, but are actually decent people. But there are definitely people who it's just, it's easy to say that you care about something. It's easy to like show support by typing something out on your phone but like actually being there for people actually doing the right thing can be more difficult sometimes but honestly that also isn't that hard like it's not that hard to not be a piece of shit in your personal life like maybe you let some people down or whatever everybody does that but just like you know try to be decent this person says lie slash do something hurtful then play victim so you end up comforting them for what they did even though you want to cry somebody replies i'm sorry did my best Back hurt your knife by someone wise. Yo, I love someone wise's quotes. They were such an amazing philosopher. Somebody else says, this is called Darvo. Deny, attack, and reverse victim and offender. And it is a common manipulation strategy of psychological abusers. Like, once again, we're talking about psychological abuse here. We're talking about manipulation tactics. Like, these are not icks. Like, oh, oh man, she was so, it was, I was just like, you know, I was just like a little grossed out when she tried to like ruin my whole life by manipulating a situation, you know? It was just, I just got the ick, you know? I think the reason all these super serious things are doing well on this thread is just like serious shit, intense shit, it just does well on these Ask Reddit threads. Like somebody could have been like, when she likes mangoes, or like when she walks sideways like a crab instead of straight. I don't know what people do or are grossed out by, but like the silly things that are actual icks is probably just like nobody cares enough to upvote them, but the intense stuff, the real like, actual horrible person stuff just gets upvotes better lie about how they feel another redditor responds my ex did that every time i'd ask her how she was i'd get i'm okay even when she clearly wasn't i'd have to drag anything except i'm okay out of her it was exhausting yeah that sounds horrible this is just like zero emotional intelligence like or you just like have serious problems and you maybe not need to like not be in a relationship because when you do this it's like you're not getting any better because you're not like explaining what's going on or trying to process it or trying to vent about it and your partner's just completely confused as to what's going on can't help you in any way can't even like know how to navigate being around you because what are you supposed to do there's like no proper solution to a situation like this this is almost an actual ick i think this is the closest thing we've gotten so far cleaning my wife's hair out of the drain grosses me out to the point where i gag i don't know why i had no problem with other gross things i can even clean up my dog vomit with little to no gagging what a flex from some nobody 8772 uh you know this is a situation where like you should probably have your you know your wife clean her own hair out of the drain because certain people just have different things that gross them out like uh, more than others clearly dog vomit you can be the dog vomit cleaner upper she should be the her hair cleaner upper and just kind of makes sense right so this person jumps in saying one for when you're in a relationship when you're with friends and they become distinctly less pleasant to you than when you're alone, like making fun of you and making jokes at your expense, which they normally would not make. Have had it happen in more than one relationship, like, what is that about? What's the deal with my partner being a dick to me in public? Uh, this person responds saying, for real, then you get home and they're on cloud nine after they've had a good night out and you're feeling like crap. You bring it up with them and they'll downplay it and they'll attempt to make light of it like it was all just teasing and jokey. If anything, this just makes it worse as you voice your feelings on how it wasn't a nice thing to do and made you feel awkward and then you're being told that what you feel is wrong not cool yeah i think that this can like have a wholesome form where like you know people that are closer to each other and are at an event with mixed company feel like more comfortable ribbing each other a little bit but everybody can feel the difference everybody knows what the difference between like joyful fun 
ribbing and like actually being made fun of is and the second that somebody complains about it making them feel bad then you know that you've gone too far and you should fix that behavior and when somebody doesn't fix that behavior it doesn't change what they're doing or tries to defend it by telling you that your feelings aren't real it's just like get the fuck out of there you know but also these are not icks i don't know i, I can't keep saying that i'm probably gonna stop saying that but you guys know is these are not icks this reddit user says when they think a toxic trait of theirs is cute slash quirky there's a difference between being blunt in a respectful way and being a bitch i feel like people this is another redditor chiming in i feel like people tend to not realize that being blunt is very situational if someone's crying because their mom passed away telling them to get their shit together isn't being blunt you're just an asshole i mean yeah it's fucking insane who would do that if you do that yeah you're a piece of shit you're beyond an asshole some other redditor says being blunt takes tact not aggression or attitude that's where a lot of people screw up they think it means they can say whatever pops into their heads mean or otherwise without any thoughts of how it affects others i agree with this a ton i think that uh yeah the time to be blunt the time to be straight up you gotta pick those situationally and not just be like yo i'm just brutally honest dude because most times people that say that are just fucking assholes and sometimes it's good to have a friend like that who's always like that but you probably don't want them in your corner for like every single situation because they might just not have like the sensitivity or the tact to deal with everything you know this redditor says silent treatment i've hated it for the long time when you do something wrong and you try to apologize and they say nothing it's even worse just hurtful another redditor jumps in and says i told my ex that refusing to talk to me was childish and she was horrified she texted me later to say i should sleep in a spare room a few days later she texted me to move out still have no idea what i did wrong that's rough but i made my point and that relationship ended i'm not staying in a relationship with someone who stomps around all day saying she's fine when I ask what's wrong. It's ridiculous and infuriating. Yeah, I feel like the, the silent treatment is definitely not good. Um, like, I understand if somebody has nothing to say or they just want to, like, leave the engagement or argument or whatever, but, like, explain that you're doing that, you know? Explain that, like, hey, I just need some time to myself or something like that. Don't just, like, be silent and give the cold shoulder, because that's just, it's not going to help anybody. It's not going to help you, because you're going to come back from being silent and still not have have resolved whatever issue is going on you know so i'm not going to lie between my band's ep release and moving i've kind of forgotten how to be a youtuber so i'm trying to get the synapses firing again i've been more active on like my music tiktok and a little bit on my music channel uh, i have been simulcasting live streams to both of those places at once recently so sub to the music channel if you're interested in that feel free to follow on tiktok if you do that sort of thing but uh definitely trying to get back into the youtube thing because i, I love doing this and I just kind of forgot how to be good at it and like what I'm doing but hopefully new styles of content coming new exciting things I hope everybody's doing super well skating on to the best of your abilities channel members on the left and uh yeah do good drink water